Hi, my name is Brian Bastable, and I'm a UTA journalism alum from 2012. I worked for five years in the newspaper industry, and I worked for about three and a half working for an engineering firm called Freeze and Nichols, and now I currently work at uh, Lockheed Martin at Missiles and Fire Control, do, handling their external communications. When people ask me what I do, I just tell them I'm still a journalist, but I'm like a corporate journalist. I use the same skills that I used in a newsroom, but now in the PR comms industry. I work to find sources, I work to find and tell the right stories, I interview people, I handle social media, I work on the website, and it's and I write on tight deadlines. It's the same exact skills that I was using in a newsroom, but now I work in the PR comm. In newspaper journalism, it's important to show adaptability. They no longer can hire just a reporter, or just a photographer, or just a copy editor, or just a page designer. You have to be able to show that you can do multiple things. And PR comms is not just about having good clips, but it's about showing the results from those articles and content you created. For example, what was the engagement rate like on it whenever you posted it? Did you get any media inquiries from it? Uh, how did it elevate your brand? And being able to show the, the work that you've done and, how, and the results from it and how it elevated your brand. The most important advice I could give you is to not do the shotgun approach whenever you're applying for jobs. Don't apply for 100 jobs at once. Instead, focus on the jobs that you really, really, really want. And uh, you could focus on that in the cover letter and the resume. In the cover letter, flatter the company, explain why you want to work for that company and why you want this specific job. A lot of times people just send out a broad cover letter and don't mention any of the specifics. These, these hiring managers are reading hundred, hundreds of these. So show why you want to work at this specific company and, and why you want this specific job. And in the cover letter, pull out the job description that they posted and explain in a high level some of your experiences with those jobs. Lastly, in your, in your resume, cater that to this specific job posting and assume they know nothing about where you came from. For example, if you manage a Twitter account, explain how many Twitter followers it has and how you engage with them and helped it grow by X percent. Things like that. Give it perspective and help them figure out where you came from. My other piece of advice for you is to be active on LinkedIn and to not only just have a LinkedIn, but fill the thing completely out. For example, have a right headline, have an SEO friendly bio, fill out your work experience, have a photo and have a cover photo. Whenever I made the transition from journalism into PR, I was found on LinkedIn and that's where your hiring managers are and that's where your recruiters are. So it's most important to, to be on LinkedIn, but also to actually be active on LinkedIn. My other piece of advice would be that whenever looking for a job, just have an open mind. A lot of the smaller organizations or even medium sized, it's where you could get a lot of different experience that you wouldn't get at other places. A lot of people, they tend to focus on, oh, I wanna work for New York Times or I wanna work for Google or, or Amazon or whatever too. But just keep an open mind because the medium and small sized companies are the ones where you get a ton of great experience and where they truly care about you and want to build your career.